There is Barb. She has joined us. I'll wait just a minute or so, and then we'll get going. I'm excited about our last presentation because this one is going to be based off of the color theory. So if you have your catalog, you'll find that on page 132. And I am going to be using the brand new You Are Beautiful stamp set. So I'm going to introduce that one to you. So who are my little people in the background that haven't said hello but are watching? I know you're watching. Say hello. <laughs> When you comment on my lives, I put your name in a drawing to win a prize. So make sure you say hello. Oh, oh I think I chased someone away. I'm sorry. But all right. So I don't know if I did not send out a reminder tonight that I'm going live, but I was just hoping that everybody remembered that it was Tuesday and I go live on Tuesdays. So. Anyhow, again, you are beautiful stamp set. That is one of those in the um, that the million dollar achievers designed. So it's really pretty one. And then I want to focus on the color theory. And we're going to use two out of the four. I'm going to do two monochromatic cards and then one analogous card. And then I will show you how those work. So if you ladies are ready, I'm ready. Oh, Karen's watching. She just can't comment. Oh, my goodness. I hate when that happens. We miss you, Karen. We miss your comments. But as long as you can watch, that's good. And Chris is coming here from Fond du Lac. Hello, Chris. So are you ready? With this stamp set, of course, you saw that it was mostly leaves. There it is again, just bringing that back out here. And Candy's joined us. And then, um, so I'm going to be working with greens tonight, of course. That makes sense. And I'll be doing a lot of stamping off. So I'm going to bring a little piece of scrap paper in there. So I'm just going to set this one off to the side and bring out our stamps. So these are the ones I'm going to use. I cheated a little bit. I took this uh, speckled one out of our um, mm, Seaside Wishes stamp set. So I like to borrow those. But hey, Deborah, nice to see you. My color for the first two cards are going to be shaded spruce. So this is a deep, pretty, rich green, and it falls into the green area, which I think it's in the uh, darker shade. So I really like that one. And Vicki has joined us. Okay, Karen's got to work, and she can chat with us now. Wonderful. Okay, so. First card, shaded spruce, and of course my cardstock, regular card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So my front here is four by five and a quarter. And I am going to be inking up. Ooh, my goodness, I'm getting ink on me already. <laughs> going to be inking up this way. Cheryl has joined us. Welcome, Cheryl. Okay, this way I can see that I have everything nicely inked up, and I'm going to come in from the side and do a little twist and drop there. I'm just holding that on for a second so it soaks up into the paper because I like that deep, rich color that this shaded spruce gives us. Ink that back up again. And then I'm going to come off this way. We're going to overlap just a little, and that's okay. And then press down again. Now, I don't need to clean this off yet because our next card is also going to be shaded spruce. 
And I'm snitching this little guy from the Seaside Wishes. So I just want to add a little extra to our card there. Stamp that off. And then we are going to go with our greeting. Super simple card. Oh, I'm going to flip this over. This helps keep your edges from getting globbed up with ink. And as you can see, I also trim my stamps. Hi, Joan. All right, right there. Beautiful. That is it. So we're just going to add a little adhesive here. Remember to fill my stamp and seal. This is a nice technique um, if you're working with those note cards like we did before. Same color, keep it quick and simple. I'm just going to add one little thing that also keeps us with the um, monochromatic look, and that is the plain rhinestones here. Cannot go wrong with these. In fact, I could have taken these with the Stampin' Blends and actually colored them in our green here. I'm going to put two down by the light and one up by the U. I'm using the small one, smallest ones here. I can pick that last guy up. All right, we're going this way. There we go. Let's get that right by that U up there and by the flowers. There we go. Super simple, quick and easy. Joan says it's 55, cold and rainy here. Yes, we have been rainy here as well. And we have tornado warnings coming. Not warnings. Watch. A watch. Don't want to scare anybody. So leave this open because we are going to do another card. This is one of my favorite techniques is color on color. It's just oh, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, I'm going to bring that big leaf back in here. We're going to ink this guy up well. Okay, I'm going to come in up here and hold. Joan says no tornadoes in Washington. Hi, Beth. Well, hopefully we have no tornadoes here in Wisconsin either because I do not like those. <laughs> I don't know of any of us who do. All right. Let's bring this one up. I'm going to make sure I got that edge done, but I'm coming this way. It's almost like putting a fun little puzzle together. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh, man. I love this technique. I got a little piece of hair here I'm going to pull off. There we go. And sometimes, if we've been stamping for a long time, we just totally forget about these simple, basic techniques that we learned when we first started stamping. Yet they can be as powerful and pretty as anything that we learn today. <coughs> Sorry about that. Wouldn't think I would have a dry throat when it's this humid out today. I'll sneak this one in this way. And then we'll get one more in here, I think. I think I'm going to slide this this way. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to need to clean this off. So I'm going to drag out my little guy here. 
I clean this off as good as I can on my paper and then I bring it onto my chamois. I clean that off. And then I have a clean side on my chamois, which I just double up on. There is a lot of green ink on here. <laughs> and while I'm at it, I'm going to do my fingers. This is actually a little photo box. I know a lot of people like the skinny ones, but I like to keep a spritzer with me. And then if it starts to get a little dry, I just give it a little spritz and I am good to go. It's nice and moist yet, so it all stays in there very nice. Karen said, so true. She likes to bust out some of the old techniques, too. Yeah, they're fun, right? It's like flashbacks. Hi, Mary. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I am going to layer this on here. So you get a nice little border. And I do not have my dimensionals up here. You know what? I still have the kit from last night and guess what's in there those dimensionals so i'm gonna sneak them out of there because i really want to pop my greeting so this goes out of the way and then we need our greeting and a piece of paper so Go here, just slightly tap. Let's stamp that greeting. It says, make today amazing. Oh, and I must have wiggled. I call that the cookie cutter effect. <laughs> Remember baking cookies with your mom for like Christmas and you had to cut out them cookies so you always kind of like shook them <laughs> yes i think that's how many of us started stamping there that one's a lot better clean that off clean off my stamp oh these clean off much better not as much ink on that one all right do a little trim here little snip snip So who likes quick and easy cards? I mean, yes, we. I think everybody loves those pretty fancy ones that we do. Of course, sometimes I think that even using the embossing folders is quick and easy. But I like reaching back into time and checking out these old techniques that just add. All right. So we are going to make today amazing. And again, I'm just going to give a little pop here. I'm going to put one right down there. One up here. And one over there. Again, it'll help draw your eye over to that greeting but what a beautiful background that is you could do this to a whole scrapbook page so everybody's going i do <laughs> barb's joined us and she loves this green this is shaded spruce so karen says she keeps her fancy card for really special occasions yes we do and we give those fancy cards to the people we know who save our cards, right? <laughs> Some people are like, I never throw any of your cards away. So those are the people we make those fancy ones for. Okay, I got one more coming up. So let's bring some new colors in here. Oh boy, I got that one all dirty too, don't I? Oh, that's okay. I'll just flip it this way. So this is our pretty summer splash. So we're going to be using that. So let's bring that right down here. And this is going to be my 
analogous chart. That's what I'm using, which means these three colors are side by side on the color wheel. And I literally took my colors side by side. So I am going to use these three right here, the Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, and Summer Splash. So definitely right on that wheel, right next to each other. I'm not even hopping colors. I'm going straight from the color wheel um, with that analogous. So bring out the pretty words here. I'm going to be doing that. And I am going to start with my Lost Lagoon. Get that right here. Oh, there it is. We're bringing back that nice big leaf. Got this guy, he's got to move here. Start across here. It doesn't matter where you go. Whoops. I don't know. Hold this fun stuff in my way. Deborah said, what stamp set are you using? That is a good question. I am using, let me bring that back up here. And, oh, it's right here. The You Are Beautiful stamp set. So it's got some beautiful verbiage in it. And the foliage in here just makes it easy to stamp with. And that's kind of why I picked this one out. So good question. So in with my Lost Laguna first. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle him throughout. Maybe three for now. We can always go back and add, right? So I'm going to leave that open just in case. Let's get the color off of here. And then. Clean this up quick while we switch. How are we looking? Very good. Okay. Drag that off a bit. All right. Now I'm going to go in with the Summer Splash. This is really a pretty color. Um, remember the tip I shared with you the other day about um, if they're really juicy, they'll bubble up. Guess what this one's doing? And I thought I cleaned this. I'm actually going to push that down. I want to get some of that ink off of here because see what it does when it bubbles? Now, note to self, don't stick your arm in there, Linda. But even on here, it's all bubbling. So I have to be careful not to put my arm in there. All right. I'm going to come in this way and put that pretty color in there. There we go. Just being very soft with that. I'll bring that in here. I'm still getting a little bit of that. So I have to take a little bit more out. Another time, another time. All right. There we go. Now I'm just going to leave this right now until I get my third color in. Karen said you read my mind. <laughs> About sticking my arm in there? Yeah. I already stuck my finger in one of the inks. So I saw something in there and I was going to pick it off. And oh, yeah, there it went. All right. I'm going to go. Nope. See, it's like putting embellishments on for me. <laughs> this is almost like, what is that technique called? Collage. So it's a little, little bit of that. Just putting them... Um, Colors anywhere you want. 
bring a little more of that dark blue up here. If you go over them yourself, um, overlap a little bit, it's okay. I should have put a bigger one through the middle, but that is all right. You know why? Because we're going to have our greeting there anyways. All right. I am done with this. So we'll clean that off. We're going to clean this one off. So we'll put that right in there and move that off to the side. I got a new table, so it's very wiggly. So I apologize for the shaking. So I'll just have to remember that. And I am going with the Summer Splash. And I'm going to leave this here so I don't stick my, <laughs> my arm in it. Let's pull this off. We won't need that. We'll take our pretty new background paper. See, it almost looks like designer paper, doesn't it? Mary says, what three colors are you using? I am using the new Summer Splash. That is one of the five new in colors. Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. And you will find those on your color wheel in the catalog. I'm going to very gently, and I see something right there. And I don't want that on my card. I'll very gently ink that up. And again, align with any part of the sentiment that is straight. When you get to those curvy little ones, it's hard to line those up all the time. So I always line it up with something that is straight. So this says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and he will direct your path. True statement. All right, let's get this on here. You are welcome. I was not sure about these three colors, you know, but they are gorgeous together. And with this set, you know, you're thinking that it's, I don't know if I want to call this fancy, but I was thinking these were more like Caribbean colors when I first started, but it's not. And I think the um, Pretty Peacock really tones it down a little bit. But I think together, just like on the color wheel, they make a beautiful combination. So we're going to put these little guys on here. Come on. Keepers, it went kind of fast again tonight, didn't it? So uh, on the fingernail, um, I will be posting the winner. Remember, everybody who comments is going to get their name in the drawing. And I will do that tonight. And if you placed an order, make sure that you let me know which flower you pick. Don't forget to pick your flower because there's a prize associated with that. So um, it shouldn't be too far back. But if you want, I'll repost it again. So, yep, pick your flower so you can pick your prize. And also tomorrow morning, I will go live and draw for the stamp and cut and emboss machine. There we go. Okay, ladies, what do you think? Is this gorgeous enough or should we put some bling on here? So we can easily put some of that bling on there. It's a plain color. Oh, I'm glad you love it. Such a pretty card, isn't it? And they're all so, they're simple. But I just wanted to share a little bit of with that color wheel and show you how to use it. They're going bling, bling, bling. Okay, bling it is. Okay, and it's such a plain one, so. A plain 
um, bling, not a plain card. This is definitely, um, yeah, I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to stick a little bitty one right next to him. So I'm going to do it a little bit different on this one. Okay, that is messing with my eyes over there. So there we go. A little bling. Chris said they need to bring the color coaches back. Yes, that's actually kind of what this is. Um, I got some printables that I can share as well. Um, I will have to get those out. It's hard to share PDFs on this page, and I don't know why. It lets me do it on a group page, but not here on my business page. So, um, Yes. Uh, thank you, Vicki, and the rest of you. Lovely cards. I agree. And so simple and easy and just a great set and a great way, again, to show you how to use that um, color wheel. I just I love this thing. And it's right in the catalog. So me, Linda here will not lose it. <laughs> this was made for me because. Who knows where the wheel would be if I had a wheel, but this is great. And you could, you know, um, copy it if you want to. But I like the fact that it's all in here. It explains the four different um, color theories and how to do that. So 132 and 133, that's where you'll find them. So and I enjoy the fact that, wow, we have a nice group tonight. So thank you so much. Um, and we, I will get that announcement out, the winner for tonight, uh, shortly. And then if you guys have any questions about the party, remember that is closing tonight. So I am, um, the party will close at 10 p.m. so that I can get um, all my little ducks in an order and I can start um, getting prizes ready. So let me know, pick your flower, let me know what that will be. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for hanging out with me tonight. And I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful evening. And stay out of them strong winds tonight, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.